Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for the community. They practice and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of pong. But these niggas came bearer arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising stack piling. She got her own money. We just high-fiving sexual organs. Because that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use Land con, but my product's way fucking better. Shoot stack hey, cheddar. Hey, uh. I know you're waiting for another episode. Uh, another episode. I know you've been waiting for another episode. I know you've been waiting. Yeah, let it fucking go. Yo. Yo. I'm normal again, y'all. I know you can't believe it, but I'm actually a brown person, and it hurts. Howdy, everyone. I am Lord Shoe X, and you watch another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. I'm a polymath based out of Georgia. If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, you should check it out because it's a cool website. Um, now nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> What's good, y'all? Shit been fucking awesome, man. Shit been fucking great today. I miss y'all like usual. If the music is good, I'm pretty sure it is. So let's get this show on the road. Y'all, it's a couple things I want to talk about today. It's a few things, actually. This ain't going to be an observations of Lord Shoe X, though. This is just another normal episode of Lord of Affected Work. Can't wait to talk to y'all about what's been going on in the world. I should have got some water, but it's cool. You know, we're going to thug it out. So, what's been new? What's been going on? Shit. I know y'all been keeping track of y'all lives, but... I mean, what about other people's lives? <laughs> what about the world? Y'all been keeping track of the world? I'm not saying you have to or anything, but it's cool. It's always cool to check in, you feel me? It's always great to do that. Man, damn. I've been working hard as shit these past few days. Yesterday and today, I've been working hard as hell. Hard as fuck. But the shit I got for y'all, man... Can't wait. Can't wait to unleash it. Can't wait to unleash the cracking on y'all. Because, boy, I'm so ready to be done with this shit, man. I'm telling you. If I, if I done said this on every stream, bro, I'm sorry. But that's how much I'm ready to get rid of this fucking shit. I'm over it at this point. But it's cool, you know. We gonna thug it out, man. We gonna get this work done. We gonna finish this work up. And we going to put this work out here in the world. We're going to be on the main stage, you know what I'm saying? Where everything cool, copacetic, and gravy. Not the white gravy, but the brown gravy. That's the best taste of one. Even though the white gravy be good on biscuits, I ain't going to lie. But that brown gravy, that's multi. That's that's a multi-purpose. That's like, uh, you know how they got the, that multi-purpose cleaner? You can clean the toilet, the sink, the fucking walls, the kitchen counter. That's how that brown gravy be, boy. You can put that shit on anything. I remember the other day, yo, my mom's had cooked some, like, Asian food, right? She put, like, uh, this shit that they got called Yum Yum Sauce. I don't know what's in it, but I probably shouldn't be eating it. But she already had mixed it in. But my grandma had made some gravy, though. She had made, like, some chicken with some gravy. Boy, so, you know, my country ass. I'm like, man, I know this Asian food. That's a totally different culture, man. But I put the gravy on the fucking Asian food, bro. What was I thinking? Genius material. That's what the fuck I was thinking. That shit was so damn good. God damn brain almost exploded eating that shit. But anyways, anywho, 
Let's get to the real shit. So Kanye done dropped another gap. Y'all. Okay, listen. I don't give a fuck about nobody's brand but my own. And I'm sorry to say that. Besides 11-11, Tevnik, and my shit, and my brother's shit, and my cousin's shit. Basically just family. I give a fuck about my family brands. But when it comes to them other shits out there, Gucci, Versace, Yves Saint Laurent, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, man. But Kanye, I've been waiting on this man to drop an official line for years. Because back, I don't know, people who, who fuck with Kanye West, man, he used to have this line called Pastel that never came out. And the shit was tight then. I was so sad he scrapped that whole shit. But Yeezy knew then, just like Yeezy know now, that the shit that he be thinking about be so in the future, bro. Like the clothes he got now. Y'all, when I tell you I'm waiting for this Gap drop, because Yeezy owns part of Gap. Yes, y'all remember the Gap from back in the day? That's basically Kanye West company. So all the clothes that's coming out on Gap, or all the clothes that Kanye dropping from here on out is going to come out through the Gap. He's revamping the Gap. He ain't even put no clothes out. Ever since he got partnered with Gap, Gap stock done went up so damn high. And he done made a Yeezy brand a fucking... I want to say it's a billion dollar company now. On its own. That's, well, actually, yeah. That's what made... That company what made him a billionaire. And then Kim Kardashian dipped on him. So sad. But at the same time, it was it was due to happen, man. You know? Sometimes when you focused on your purpose, man, if your partner don't understand that, it's hard. That's why you got to let them know from the jump. Hey, I'm out here trying to create something for the world. Okay? I'm doing this for the world, baby. Now you can get with the shits. You can be a part of it. Or you can watch me from the outside. But just know, I'm focused. And I'm doing this for the world, baby. And guess who a part of the world? Guess who a part of the world? I don't even got to say it, man. You, baby. You a part of the world. That means I'm doing it for you, too. It might not seem like it because I ain't just touching you all the time. And doing, doing loving things to you all the time. But as they say, you make time for the things that matter the most to you. So, there's a balance, of course. And we all know how Kanye is, man. This nigga's imbalanced mentally. So, you know, it's kind of hard to balance home and family life, especially when you're on a spiritual path. And we all know what kind of spiritual path that nigga's on. Now, at the same time, man, spiritual path can lead you to your own destruction. So, uh, use discernment. Because <laughs> shit can happen. But back to Yeezy Gap. Man, I've been waiting on this damn Yeezy Gap drop, like the full season Yeezy Gap drop, for about, since I heard about it. And I think that was like two two years ago that he started talking about partnering with the Gap. Since then, he's actually uh, did like a pre-release of a jacket. Probably, I want to say last month, around his birthday, he dropped his first piece on the Yeezy Gap line. Which you have to pre-order it. So it don't actually ship to your house until the fall. So it won't leave Yeezy Factory or Gap's Factory until the fall of this year. Now, what what's crazy to me is that... Honestly... Oh, shit. My shit freezing up. No. Don't freeze up, baby. Gotta work hard for that. Uh oh. Uh oh, y'all. I don't know what's going on, man. I put this shit on the lowest thing, man. Uh oh, saying it's unstable. No.